Joining us now to help shed more light on this situation is Cowboys reporter Clarence Hill here on 105 Through the Fan. And a good afternoon. Clarence, how you doing? I'm well, man. How are you guys doing? We are doing great. And, you know, Jerry's saying they're going to go all in. We're kind of wondering if, if we should uh, take that at face value or what, or what that means. You know, it's funny because he, he was all over the place, as Jerry is as convoluted as ever, but trying not to say something, then trying to say something compelling. So we you know we talked about being all in first way, but you know Mike McCarthy last year was contract. You know we don't know what they're going to do about Dak, but it seems like they're tied to him. You know if we're going to make one last stand with Mike McCarthy, you should go all in. And he initially started talking about his contract, and you'll see we're going to go all in based on the contracts we're doing. But you know I asked him well in the past, you know you guys have tried to basically serve two masters. We want to win. We also want to plan for the future, which always drove me crazy that they worry about the salary cap rather than trying to win. Get one or twenty nine years, and he himself said, "No, it's not about the future; it's about now. We're going all in." So those were his words, and we'll see if they do it. So, do you sense the the their plan or thinking has changed at all with Dak? I don't know because you know again he was convoluted with Dak. Again, you know we could again I go to this thing every year. You know, and one reason, you know, obviously Dak's contract's an issue. And last year, after the 15 interceptions, they were unequivocal about Dak. Dak is our quarterback for the future. We want to sign up to a new deal. We understand what the salary cap is. we got to get this done. Stephen Jones, I want to get Dak done here for another 10 years. So certainly after this year, with, with, with the number up, and this is the year you need to do something, if you're going to do something to lower the cap figure, they were initially vague. We don't want to talk about contracts. We don't want to be specific about Dak. Or, and he lumps them in with CDs and Micah and all those other situations, which are not as uh, acute as Dak's situation because of the $59 million cap. Here. They, you know, they, again, started talking about taking a holistic approach to the whole thing. And then when I certainly asked him to juxtapose the commitment to last year, this year, he tries to watch still feel the same way about Dak. I still feel, you know, he's our future. And, you know, as I said, which was the little ditty that just threw me, we'll go as far as Dak goes, and you see how far we went. What does that mean? Yeah, what, <laughs> like, I can't imagine Dak appreciates that. Is that Dak's that. fault, then, that you didn't go farther? It's a little it's weird, Chill. None of this makes sense right now. <laughs> it doesn't make sense. And he said, no, we, we all let the egg, the whole team let the egg, but the – but put it in those terms, you know, I, you know, I always say we go as far as that goes in the playoffs, and that's how far we went. Like, what is, how is that uh, reassuring if you're committed to that? <laughs> <laughs> Has it always been so difficult, this difficult to interpret, Jerry? No, I mean, listen, I've been trying to decipher Jerry since 1997, and, 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 and he's <laughs> – <laughs> from, from his titillating comments <laughs> or the glory, I mean, he, it, it's always something, but I, I think that – Right now, and I think they don't want to get back into a corner, and so they're they're cautious about everything because everything is on the table, including extension, including you know letting them play it out. I mean, I don't think they want to get back into the corner on anything or anyone. What did you think about his comments regarding being comfortable with Mike McCarthy, and then the around the rim analogy he kept using? <laughs> yeah, you know, and I think that's what frustrates fans. You know, the comfort thing, you know, and certainly we know Broaddus was talking about that, the whole comfort thing. I'm comfortable with Mike. And, and I think there's some truth to the Cowboys having progress and winning 12 games in the past three years on the mic. The, 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 the problem is why have you, are, is he not getting it done in the playoffs? And then I'm, I'm comfortable with Mike and we're hanging around the rim. You know, we're going to put the ball in. Well, you know, sometimes when teams don't get over the edge, they go back. You know, you know, and, and, and it, it happens overnight. So the two naturally assume that they're going to make the playoffs and, and take the next step. You can also assume that this might be the year where they fall off. And so, you know, there's a question whether you want to disrupt things and, and do something different or, or stay the course. And Jerry believes, you know, Mike deserves and he wants to stay the course. And, again, that's what frustrates fans. Chill, do you think that uh, Steven and Jerry are on the same page when it comes to what they need to do going forward? I think so. I mean, I think that Steven certainly has, has taken uh, – has a lot of influence. You know, certainly when we talk about building for the future because Steven is, is always about managing the cap, which, you know, more so than doing every, going all in, doing everything they can to sign for agents and put a win on the field. Uh, 
uh, but certainly at this point, I mean, I think Stephen and, and Will certainly have a huge sway on the finances, which again impacts you know how you build the roster. And, and again, you know, Stephen, we we talked to Stephen, at, at, you know, at, at the right after we talked to Jerry, and certainly he was buttoned up about everything and wouldn't even discuss the Dak situation or or anything like that. They they certainly are on the same page of of not trying to talk about contracts, but I think they are. Uh, and I don't know if that's good or bad. Okay, so you mentioned free agency. When when Jerry says let's go all in and having then spoken to both Jerry and Steven, do you think that it is a, it's fair to think they would be more aggressive in free agency? Well, well let Steven tell us they've always been all in. You know, he, he come, oh, yeah, we were all in last year. No, no, you weren't. I mean, you know, we, we, we know they balance, they, it's about signing guys at the bargain Bargain free agents. If that's not going all in, and and listen, I we love what Brandon Cooks and and uh, Gilmore brought, but they were low risk trades. It mm-hmm. wasn't like they went in and, and, and spent major dollars to say go all in. You know that that's two totally different things. The problem with with Jerry saying that is also understanding that they were roughly nineteen million dollars over the cap. You know, so they got to get under the cap, and then you know decide what they're going to do with this contract, which is why. That contract is acute. It's Clarence Hill here with you on 105.3 The Fan. Do you think status quo <clears throat> could win the Super Bowl? <laughs> I am still mystified, and I think they are too, which is the problem is they don't understand how you can go 12-5 and five and be so bad in the playoffs. Yeah. Yeah. You know that that's that's what because on paper they're as good as Detroit. They, I mean, you know they haven't showed up against San Francisco, but outside of that defense, I mean, you, you saw what Detroit did. They, when they're at their best, they can play with those teams. You know, why are they not showing up in the playoffs? That's what no one can put a finger on. And, and I don't know if it's mental or if it's a. I don't know if it's just simply a personnel issue because the personnel has been good enough to to compete with those teams in the regular season. It's just when the playoffs, they don't show up. Well, the last two times, they haven't been able to run the ball reliably. Is that is that still a, an important part of winning in January? Uh, oh, no doubt. And that, that's one thing that Jerry talked about. Uh, one thing he, he specifically said, what we need to do better is run the ball and stop the run. And, and I think that's what he, as you see across the, the playoffs, the teams that are, have run the ball, I, I, maybe not Kansas City, I mean, not Kansas City, but the team that run the ball on South Run the one that is successful. And that's certainly something that they're going to emphasize, running the ball, stopping their run, going forward. So do you feel like we could buy the reports about how they want to go cheaper at the running back position? Well, I mean, cheap is relative. I mean, you paid Tony Pollard $10 million. Yeah. You know, I, I mean, I don't, I don't, I mean, you know, you're not going to pay Tony Pollard $10 million next year. You can get, you know, you can get a couple of back. You can get a veteran back and, and a rookie cheaper than that. You know, on the market, the way, the way the running back market is, that doesn't mean you're taking a step back. But, I mean, yes, you don't want to pay uh, Tony Pollard or someone $10 million and them not being a, be a special back. They're not going to do that, for sure. Are you hearing anything about how likely it is Dan Quinn returns as defensive coordinator? Yeah, they, you know, it, it's, it's all up in there. Especially with, you know, with Ben Johnson taking his name out of the Washington job, and, you know, you know he's right there with Washington, right there with, with Seattle and just talking to the Cowboys, they don't know, you know, and they're, they're, they're letting that play out. You know, Jerry said that, you know, we want him back, you know, but, you know, and what they do, you know, if he doesn't come back, that that's a huge question, you know, but uh, we, it, it's, it's up in heaven right now with Dan Quinn. I don't, again, I, I go back to that press conference. I know Jerry, and they say the right thing, but, but Mike McCarthy had a milk toast answer uh, when asked about Dan Quinn at his yeah. press conference two weeks ago. Yeah. Hey, Chill, uh, speaking of Mike McCarthy, is do you hear any whispers about him not being too happy about winning 36 games and not getting an extension and having to coach this thing out? I have not heard anything like that, but I think that, you know, Mike McCarthy understands. Uh, he put himself in a situation by not getting the team ready to play off. I mean, sure. I mean, I mean you, you, you win 12 games, you have two home games, and and, you know, we go back, I go back to 2021 when he admitted that this team was not ready to play. He let them walk out the locker room. You know, they were, they were not ready to play and nervous going into that, 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 uh, San Francisco game. And, and he let them walk out the locker room and then to be at home and get the seventh seed and go be down 27 nothing in the first half. 
I mean, I don't think he has any leg to stand on when it comes to complaints at this point, right? Sure. It's Clarence Hill here with you on the fan. Um, <clears throat> speaking of not being ready, how about C.D. Lamb? Did you hear anything about what was going on there with him and Dak? <laughs> My back channel understanding is that his mom was hacked. That's the story that's being told. I, I don't know what the truth is. I've heard of things like that. I was certainly was hoping that I could go to the Pro Bowl and find out, but I'm not going to the Pro Bowl. But, uh, you know, I, I don't know how you get hacked if you only talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Tyron Smith coming back? I don't know, but I know I talked to Tyron's agent, and Tyron's not retiring. Tyron okay. had a great year, feels good about his future. And he is not retiring, so he will play here or somewhere else next year. If not Mike McCarthy in 2025, Belichick, Belichick. somebody else, who do you say? Uh, maybe Ben Johnson, right? He did, he did like the yeah. Washington job. Maybe, you know, the Cowboys can afford to pay him. That That's why it opened. I think, you know, obviously, is, is, is Belichick in play or do you want a new offensive mind, one of these Shanahan coaching trees or one of those guys that, that, that do things differently? It's, it's wide open. Jill, do, do you think if they not, did not let it Deion ride? Sanders. How about that? Okay. There you go. <laughs> do you think if they did let it ride with Dak, he'd be okay with going to play somewhere else? You think he's getting a little bit frustrated as well to Brian's question about Mike McCarthy? You know, I, I think Dak is grew up a Cowboys fan and would love to be here. And if the money is right, you know, even if they let it ride, if they, if they came correct, he would stay here. But I think that if Dak on the free agent market, Dak would have, would have a home in a, in, in a New York minute. You know, you look at Pittsburgh, you look at New Orleans, you know, the Cowboys fans, you know, uh, the mad at Dak, and I think they're, they're unappreciative because they're worse quarterback situation than the team would love to have Dak Prescott. They can have success with Dak Prescott. So if he doesn't come back, he will have a home somewhere quickly. So do the Jones boys take, take the bus out in Alabama? Can you go buy them a drink at the story tonight? You know, the bus is not in Alabama. That's only for the combine, but we will look for a drink somewhere. Yes, sir. Appreciate your insights as always, Clarence. Is there anything else about this team that we need to know about before we let you go? No, that's, that's all. Dak is not going to the Pro Bowl because he's having a baby. How about that? All right on. Congratulations. He's not injured. He's, he's having a baby. He's, he's having uh, maternity leave for the Pro Bowl. That's nice. All right, dude. Have, have a great week out there. Thank you. All right. Thank, thank you, guys, man.